Hi YouTube, it's Amy. Um, I actually want um, to do kind of a getting ready for date night um, little vlog um, with us moving these past couple weeks and um, me having a procedure on my leg and my husband having the flu. It's been a while since, you know, we had a night without kids and kind of going out on the town. So I just want to kind of show you um, how I, you know, kind of get ready. So right now um, I did just get a shower and I did my hair in just a simple bun with a braid with just a black bow to kind of match my black top with gold. So my color scheme for tonight is gold, which you know, my jewelry will be gold. So I wanted to show you a couple of p the pieces I'm gonna be wearing. Um, and those who don't know me, um, I have a really big obsession with Kate Spade. So, um, and that's for handbags, jewelry, um, winter gear, you name it. I own some type of piece of Kate Spade. So I want to show you, um, for tonight, I went ahead and I picked out these Kate Spade bow earrings. Get up close. They're just these little bow studs. They're gold. They're super adorable. I want to say I've had these for about a year. Um, I will tell you the best time to get Kate Spade jewelry is around Christmas. Um, when they have these pop-up sales, especially 75% off, um, you can get her jewelry super cheap. Um, from this past Christmas, my husband actually got me this white and gold Kate Spade bangle. And this is great if you want to layer up with bracelets or just wear it as, you know, on its own. And... On the inside, it does have the Kate Spade New York logo with Kate Spade, and then it says Tickle the Ivories. So, this is really cute just to, you know, give a little different pop of color. Um, with that bangle, I'm going to wear it with this Kate Spade charm bracelet, and I only have two charms so far. My first charm was this little Scotty dog. So cute. And my second charm was this Kate Spade little bag. So really cute. Um, love it. Working on, you know, getting some more of these. And I don't have a problem mixing different colors of gold. So um, my necklace is going to be this long um statement necklace and this is Kate Spade as well it's more of a rose gold and the reason I am gonna wear this one tonight instead of just like a gold necklace is because of the gold on my shirt so I figured I just don't want to be too gold looking you know like a disco ball so it is fun to kind of you know switch things up and it does have the little glass beads and like I said it's it's not gold but it's not really rose gold um, but it will look really great with this top I've got on so that's the jewelry I'm gonna be wearing this evening um, so to get on with the makeup part um, sorry about the camera in the movement um and because I am recording these videos on my phone so it does make it a lot harder so I always have to start off I do have super super dry skin you can see around my eyebrows around the nose creases so super dry so I like to start off with this is a Clinique moisture surge mask um I like to just put this on right before I do my makeup and I literally just take a couple dabs like this 
like this and then just rub it in really good um especially with people that kind of suffer from dry skin on their faces or it it does make it harder to put foundation on with dry skin patches and just dry skin in general so um i actually really do like this clinique moisture surge i think i got it on ulta when i had some points and everything so um not too expensive i think it was like 10 bucks and i this little bottle has lasted i know probably six seven months now so so since i have the moisture surge mask on i kind of just let it sit there just for a couple seconds make sure you know my skin's ab absorbing it and all that so after that you need to do well let me i'm sorry i'm gonna try to set this phone up where i can be both hands free so let's see if this will work i'm sorry i'm sitting on my bed getting ready so let's see if this works. perfect okay so so after the moisture surge i like to use a primer and believe it or not this primer the elf brand great i paid 10 bucks for this at walmart target has it a lot of your little retail pharmacies carry this great great product great great price i have been using this bottle probably going on six to eight months right now so with this i definitely use one of the beauty blender sponges another great tip with these is christmas time ulta had their stocking stuffers five for ten bucks I went and bought $20 worth of these because definitely something I use all the time for multiple cosmetic products and if they get real nasty I don't worry about cleaning them I just trash them so I take the primer just little little dabs just a little squirt because you don't want to go too much with the primer because it is kind of oily so with the moisture surge and this we don't want to make our face you know way too oily so with that I just kind of blend it with circle motion uh, get in the creases really well above the lip there's a lot of prepping before you actually put the actual makeup make sure your hair isn't on your forehead you know get all those around the eyes just like this and the lip area okay so now that we have the primer on it's time for our foundation so one of my favorite brands of makeup is urban decay this is urban decay foundation this is another product a little bit goes a long way um, if you're not sure where to buy Urban Decay besides online Ulta does carry this brand and it's an all-nighter foundation so once you have the primer on this stuff lasts I mean you're having to wash it off before bed so with that I do have another beauty blender sponge and a little a little dab like this again a little goes a long way because the secret to makeup is being as natural as possible so since that's on we're going to start blending and just just a circle motion so sorry I'm having to use my mirror for this because you don't want it to get into your hairline so and we want to make sure it's doing its job and covering all this up so so yeah so just we're blending it in and we want to cover up 
all these flaws and problem areas. And again, the secret to foundation is to make it look like you're not wearing any. And some people, you know, think they have to stop right here on your face. You want to go down as far as possible because you don't want to be able to see a color difference between your neck and your face. So, right there, I think it's on pretty well. So, the foundation. So, next, I just use a little pressed powder. And the pressed powder I use is actually a just the CoverGirl brand. It probably came from Walmart, CVS, something like that. And then um, just a big ELF. Um, brush and so I just kind of and then just go circles go everywhere and it kind of helps to blend the foundation in a little more too so as I'm at, and again a little goes a long way so there we go and then after that's on the pressed powder we need to kind of get some of you want a little bit of color so again another great brand ELF Target has this brand Walmart what you know um, I do like this bronzer blush duo I'm, I'm not using the blush though because I do have another brush I'm in love a blush I'm in love with so this is a bronzer and I just do a little bit, get it on. We just want a little bit of color. So, again, we're just putting that on like so. And we're getting some some color. Especially, you know, we're still in that winter time. So we're already pale. Okay. So, that's the bronzer. So, after the bronzer... I do go for the blush and I do have a little Sephora brush set and my favorite one to use for blush is this I love this little brush set I've had it maybe a year um, found it on Amazon really good price the bristles are so soft and this is the blush I like to use it's called crush and it is by Urban Decay. Really, really, really great. It stays on, lasts a long time. So, I just, you know, put a little on. Like this. You want to make sure you're getting it on your cheeks. You know, not too low on your cheeks either. So. And... I know some people are real, you, you either love blush or you don't. I do like blush. Just because we're going out in the evening. So, it is a great nighttime look. So, we'll just blend that in a little more. So, that's the Urban Decay Blush. So, all right, so moving on, so right now that's pretty much the face part. Um, we're going to move on to the eyes. One, a really great product that I do love, and again, it is an Urban Decay product. This is an eye primer. I swear by this. Yes, this tube is around 22, I want to say 2250 at Ulta. This tube I have had a year. And it still has product in it and it still works. So, you just take it out. It has like a little sponge brush and do your eyelids and all the way up to your brow which I'm going to double check the mirror to make sure I'm getting it all. So like I said, it's tricky doing this with the cell phone. 
So, just like that. And this is what's going to make your eyeshadow last the whole evening. And again, I have the anti-aging. They do have it in um, like a color, like a shimmer. They have it in just the original, the anti-aging. So really, really great product. Out of five stars, I would give it a five. This is probably one of the best things I've ever discovered. So next we're going to move on to our eyeshadow. I will show you my favorite palette I have. I'm not going to use this one tonight. I think because I have a new, yeah. So this is the Urban Decay Naked 3. Love, love, love. This thing sure does get its use. Has a lot of the pinks. And I will be using the black out of this to show you what I use instead of eyeliner. Because when I wear eyeliner, it tends to irritate my eyes and cause my eyes to water. So I actually have a trick with this if any of you guys have any problems with eyeliner irritating your eyes. So with that said, tonight I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Chip Palette. Look how adorable. It's like a little candy bar. Adorable. And here are the, here's the inside. <sighs> Look at that. Golds and pinks and blacks and silvers. Beautiful. So we need to get a brush, a sponge. So the color I'm going to go ahead and use tonight is kind of this rose goldy looking color and I'm going to put that on like this using the sponge and making sure you're getting in all the way to the crease of your eye like that. Like I said, this is a beautiful palette. I got this from Urban Decay. This was $32. But I don't want to scare you guys off when I'm saying the prices because, yes, it is very pricey. But you'll be using this for two years. So I rather, you know, kind of splurge a little bit with the makeup. Um... And have it last longer and then um, I do have tendencies to break out and um, the Too Faced and the Urban Decay products have been wonderful on my skin so um, that's why I tend to stick with that brand so I want to just kind of make sure they're even okay so I want to add just a little pop of color to the top and I think with that, I'm going to use a brush instead of a sponge. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take this pinky blush looking color and just add, just add a little bit just above that rose gold that we used. Just like that. Just a little color. Because, again, I don't want to be too gold. I don't want to walk around looking like a disco ball. So. Just like that. And this little brush set I'm using. This was one of those stocking stuffers from Urban, um, from Ulta. You know, the 5 for 10. So, you can't go wrong with having extra brushes. So, right now, that is my eye shadow and this will be like this when I get home this evening and even though it'll be probably midnight so with that said I'm gonna go back to that black urban decay color because I was telling you guys about how eyeliner 
it makes my eyes water well this doesn't and I actually have this special brush Let's see if I can find it it is by ELF and it's got a sponge tip just like this and um, this ELF brushes you can get at Target with the sponge tip so and all I do because I'm gonna want you guys to see the difference so nothing on just use this and we're gonna just apply it pull down your eye apply it to the bottom of your eye Make sure you get it all the way across. And ta-da. And look how nice that looks. And like I said, it does not irritate my eyes. It won't make my eyes water. So, I think it works great. So, just a little trick. And it also saves on eyeliner money. So you can put that money and get you some of that Urban Decay primer. So with that said, it's time to move on to mascara. And I don't know if you can guess, but the mascara I use is the Urban Decay Bigger Blacker Batter Mascara. And this actually came it, like a little set. It was this and it had the small travel one same brand and everything so I thought that was pretty cool so let's go ahead and do our mascara and I do a couple coats so first coat I do just to kind of make sure all your lashes are straightened out because I don't like when they're going all types of craziness And for all my subscribers and people watching, why don't you comment below any, you know, makeup tricks that you have that are money saving. Or even some of your favorite products you recommend that maybe I should try. And I do the bottom like this. And of course, everybody has their mouth open putting on mascara. Like this. And then I want to do another top coat for this eye. I feel like I'm about to sneeze, so I'm sorry, guys. If I do, apologies in advance. So that's with the mascara. All right. So lastly, as we can see, my lips need something. I do have, I want to look at the colors real quick because I don't want to go too light. These are NYX lipsticks they came in a set and um, it came with a really dark kind of a medium and then a real pink I think I'm going to do the pink the real pink so bear with me in case I don't like it so I can take it off so make sure our lips are good And I don't use a lip liner. Um, I think I'm pretty good at kind of staying in the natural lines. So just kind of 
and then like that. So let me take some, cause I gotta make sure I take this with me now that I put it on. I got some tissue over here. So let's blot and make sure we're good. Okay, so with that said, let's go ahead and put my earrings on so you can kind of see my finished look for tonight. Going on date night with the hubby and the kids are going to be going to a fun event while we go and see a movie which would be really, really fun. And just the fact that, you know, we've been moving and getting stuff ready for hopefully baby girl soon. Um, so let's get these in. It's been a while since I wore earrings. So with that said, this is my finished look. So eyes, Cheeks, lips, got my earrings. So again, please subscribe to my channel. I am fairly new on YouTube. Um, and follow me to my journey of finding baby girl, fostering, being a mother, blogs, trying out products, product reviews. And um, you know, make sure you subscribe, like my videos, and um, you know, leave me some of your feedback about the favorite makeup you wear or some of the products you think would be something cool for me to try out. All right, Facebook. I mean, I'm sorry, not Facebook. I'm so <laughs> All right, YouTube. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.